Jennifer and I successfully hid vegetables and other foods just so our daughter would eat them. Spinach and lasagna, kale and soup, broccoli and stir fry. That technique is not helpful in all areas of life, in fact it can be deadly, yet we persist in doing it. We hide things that are ultimately unpalatable within the seemingly desirable in hopes that others won't notice the trick. From bully pulpits, political stumps, and sanctimonious soapboxes, public figures have attempted to disguise the toxin of hate within the enticing jargon of religion. Hiding hatred in our religion is never justifiable. Once ingested, hatred devours the soul even though it may feel good and satisfying going down. And the real danger is when we confuse that hatred with righteousness.